Welcome to Hydro Speedway. This is another part of Hydro Thunder. This is indeed the final part of Hydro Thunder. Um, once again, obviously no. cut up because, you know, obviously we have to. And, oh, there was no shortcut, but you know what? I'm confident I can beat this level with, I mean, sorry, without the boost. Um, and joining me again, Johnny Natrium back once again. Hello, Johnny. Hello. So, um, here with a better quality stream. We're here in Hydro Speedway. What an original name, Hydro Speedway. <laughs> <laughs> be careful not to speed. Oh yes, now that's that's one of the problem with not having the game's annoying audio on there. Um, you, you, you can't hear when you're running out. It's probably yeah. the only useful thing in the whole game, like audio wise, because the, yeah. mu <laughs> the music levels, I don't know if you ever get it, but the music levels are so terribly mixed, you can almost never hear the game music. You pretty much only hear... Um, yeah, it's like, it's like when you just start going, like just after the uh, the countdown, when when the boats start going, like you hear like two seconds of music before it gets drowned out yeah. by uh, by all the noise that's going on. Basically, it, it kind of sucks in a way because I remember you said that like in the Greece level, you said, oh, you know, the music's actually pretty yeah. good if you listen to it. May maybe you need to get yeah, like a yeah. game rip online. You know what I mean? Like have a look uh, at the soundtrack that may have been you know ripped from. You know, online or whatever. Yeah, which, I know. mean, it's not per se something I might listen to. Like, yeah, yeah. By its by itself, but it it really it sort of yeah it, it fits pretty nicely and it, and it's it sort of yeah sets a nice atmosphere. But it might be just nostalgia because I I heard the music like all the time when I used to play that level uh, a lot in yeah. my childhood days. In your childhood days, the beautiful times. Oh shit! Before I became an old man. <laughs> are you, are oh, you doing well here? Oh come on! Second place. That's torture. Yeah. You know what? Um, we will cut back to it when I come first because I reckon uh, this deserves a first place spot. I reckon. Don't you agree? I think it does. I think it's definitely doable. Definitely. I've I've never seen anything better than that. <laughs> you deserve first place. Right <laughs> Thank there. you. Alright, so now we're going to the Nile Adventure, and this is... Was Try this... to pick the fish's boat. Yep, that's it, the fish so, one, the, yeah. the conch monger or something like that, and I didn't read that properly, but um, I have tried this out for like one second. It is such a cool looking boat, I love it, look at it. He's like, mm -hmm. And look at the boost, oh wait, I don't have the boost, but I'll get a boost and you'll see it. It's, it is hilarious, this is like the coolest yeah. looking boat. Oh shit, oh damn it. Mr. It's insanely Boost. fast as well. Yeah. I, yeah. You don't have to worry that much about the uh, boosts right now, I guess. I mean, it's basically just showing off the insane Yeah, level. except I need the boosts because I've just missed like three in a row now, so kind of an idiot, I think. Yeah, on one <laughs> on, a, on one hand, you, you can't take it too far, but the, like, isn't the uh, the time limit pretty strict on this one as well yeah it shouldn't really matter with a fast boat like this i guess okay yes yeah, that's convenient um it is it is a pretty it's handling wise it's not the best but it still is impressive nonetheless and look yeah. this is this, oh, look shit. at that look at that boost did you just take a shortcut yes I did. how dare you how dare you i am the devil of hydro thunder don't hurt me but you know in 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 like uh, like other levels where there are like fishing boats like in arctic circle or something that there's a, I, I believe a few fisher boats like small kinds like oh, these oh yeah you're right you're right and they are actually like insanely fast as well i think yeah, they're like remember like the police boats are those police yeah yeah boats? yes that i think that's sort of like the thing that it they kind sort of comes of back put, to like, haunt you in a way like it's like hey look at these random boats in the level and then boom bonus tracks there they are 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you, you're so annoyed by these, by these like huge, by these police boats that just keep gaining on you and, and like yeah. being faster than you, and then you can actually use them. And, exactly. And, like, yeah, in fact, one of the boats they didn't properly have was a real police boat, but they they kind of got close by having that SWAT team boat or whatever. They have that we the, use uh, the armed one. response one. That's it, the armed response. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of like a police boat. Yeah, it's basically the equivalent because the uh, there are different kinds of uh, police boats in the game. Like yes, every are. level, I think that has a different kind. I, I believe, and that's a level of customization and, and intricacy to the levels that I really appreciate. And just really quickly, yeah, and this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in 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 racing history. Just back there, like the spinning yeah. circle and everything. This is just incredible. But yeah, what were you gonna say? Yeah, the uh, the fact that with, for which you do need the audio, I guess, which I I actually forgot about. Sort of the uh, the the police boats. They all always. They shout this stuff at you. In their respective in, language, isn't it? You yeah, said it's that always in, part in, three, I think. Yeah. In, in the language that, uh, that the level... Uh, well, I did actually have... Well, there's no police boats in this level as far as I can see, but I did I did remember hearing them speak in a different language, depending on... Oh, uh, this is... This always was really false. Except false why isn't fight. it going up? It's, isn't it meant to be... Oh, shit. I think we'll do that when we do the shortcut race. That, that, that thing at yeah, that sure. worm thing actually does rise. Yeah. I think it just depends on how you do it. And look at how it ends. Look at the river yeah, Nile. Yeah, beautiful. Just beautiful. like the actual river. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. There we go. Yeah, well, I want to go there now. Yeah. I, I would like to go to Egypt. It is a fascinating place. Actually, I wouldn't want to go to Egypt right now, just based on the, the current events. Um, just there's a bit of turmoil. And the fact that... And if there's, like, huge monsters like that one, I oh, guess... God. In, indeed, Might be you, you could say bit. that the River Nile is an adventure. Get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All good right. going, good going. We will be back there shortly. And now we're playing as Damn the Torpedoes again as we do the River Nile, Nile Adventure. Um, and so I guess I might use this op as an opportunity to kind of reflect on the game as a whole uh, as we as this will be the final track we're going to do in the game. Um, I might as well start off by you um, saying what you think, uh, Johnny, about this game overall, just to kind of bro like a broad perspective of what of why you like it so much and and what how you think that this game does in you know sort of different categories of, of gaming, I guess as, as a whole. Um, well, you're taking me by surprise a little, but you know, if I'm thinking about what what sort of pops into my head when I think about this game, it's just uh, like brilliant uh, level design, really f uh, uh, good variety, and uh, and sort of it looks really brilliant as well. How True. everything uh, everything is done, and you know you've got every level, it's sort of arcadey, and every level has sort of its own like shtick or something, and and its own its own things and and theme, I guess, and. Uh, yeah, and it's always fun to uh, to uh, revisit those. And even even though they're sort of, you know, classically themed and stuff, it's it's still really original in a lot of aspects. And uh, and uh, yeah, there's just a lot to uh, to see. And, and the racing itself is really fast and, and, and invigorating and everything. It's fast. It's and, uh, uh, frustrating. It's fun. It's F F F. It's the three Fs. Really? Yeah. It, it is. It is. That, that is a smart way of describing it. Because, I mean, there is a lot of... There's no bullshit regarding uh, difficulty. That it's just straight up, it's difficult from day one. You know what I mean? Like, it's not It's not easy at a point, I find. Um, now we need yeah, to except, on. and if, of course, there's a lot of skill involved still. And, and w you know, if you re if you'd return to uh, the... Uh, like the first three laps now, you'd, you know, they would be easy Easier, for yeah. you now. Yeah, true, true. Because, I mean, after you've sort of, uh, uh, you know, familiarized yourself with the whole game, it's, um, it's hardly possible to come anything except first in like, I don't know, in, in like Lost Island or something. Because yeah. you're so, it's so, 
you sort of get really smooth and know every uh, uh, shortcut and just glide through it. And still, you know, you were seeing new stuff that, uh, that you didn't see the first time. Exactly. There's a lot. In the environments are very enriching. And, and interesting and fun, I find, you know. Overall. Atmospheric. Atmospheric, exactly, it do. Yeah, and like w within a level, there's a lot of variety, you know, you, you'll be, I mean, as, as uh, I mean, I'm thinking of uh, uh, New York disaster where you're like going through these <coughs> canals in, uh, <coughs> that have been, been made in New York through like this, uh, this uh, uh, flood and, um, then another moment you're sort of crashing down and, and seeing this huge volcano popping into view and you know that's all within the same level so that there's a lot to uh to uh to see in like and a lot of yeah yeah no i know exactly what you mean and i would i would argue that i actually probably consider the final four levels the, the probably my least favorite levels in the game probably overall I feel like they're definitely they're more, far more immersive in the first three, I think, like the, you know, like the first yeah. three difficulty rankings. Yeah, like the, uh, the, the, the bonus levels maybe, they're sort of, except for Nile Adventure, they're sort of, uh, as we, I think we, uh, we touched upon before, was uh, how they seem to be like these more like individual ideas or gimmicks that the developers thought of and they thought like, Okay, let's just include that as a bonus. Yeah, yeah. And because they don't the really fit in that category at all. Yeah, and and they're sort of they're all <coughs> lap based. That uh, they've all got three laps, so it's not like one wild dynamic ride or something. It's just basically, uh, uh, yeah, just like how Thunder Park in the easy one. That's not as interesting as the other ones because it's 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 sort of. Yeah, it's more of, of a race well, yeah, racing lap, lap, setting. Lap based <laughs> races in this game are more on the generic side because that's what most racing yeah. games are, laps. Now the fact that there are levels that are completely immersive in the environment, that you you, you run around going through <laughs> volcanoes and, and forests and shit, it's a lot more it's a lot more uh, immersive and atmospheric and it, for that that's why this game is such a good game. Because they Yeah, they, and I, I yeah, exactly. I reckon that uh, I reckon that even the, uh, the like the lap based ones, they are still good yeah, in still good. racing terms. But you know, by the other level designs, you sort of get almost get spoiled by how how uh, brilliantly designed they are, and how you're just you you don't get the feeling that you're on a racing track, but you're like uh, there's dynamic bits of water that you're racing through in. A uh, uh, in a sort of more uncharted environment or That's something. A, yeah, that is a good so, way of describing so, it. So, so if you're then if you're then thrown into a more you know traditional setting, in you know relative to uh, to the other levels, that does seem you know less less entertaining, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Hopefully, uh, everyone's also enjoying the clips I've got playing in the background right now of me, those little highlights that I've decided to put in, that's a little editing thing in there so you're not just, like I'm currently looking at a screen of like nothing at the moment but um, yeah, you shall see something pretty cool there, but no, I, I agree with, I agree with everything you've said, I haven't, I don't disagree with anything that you've said about this game but to wrap it up, I would say that this is an experiment that I took undertook by Johnny's request and I think overall I would have to say I, I um, I'm glad I did the LP because it was overall is a different thing to do definitely a different thing to do something i don't normally do yet but i thought overall yeah. it's something that is a good thing to try out good thing to try a different game i mean i've obviously done a lot of racing games but this is a different beast entirely so uh it wouldn't have worked without a guest commentator at all specifically um you know specifically you as well uh, not not just some random one that's why I didn't get like Ratchet 5 or Owl because I don't really know about this game so having someone that knows about it having someone that me playing it for the first time first impressions overall I think creates a good LP so um, enough tooting my own horn thank you very much Johnny for commentating the, the entire time 
with me. Um, I'm sure you'll be to. back in any capacity soon. And I don't know what timing wise uh, this will be uploaded, but you can also catch Johnny and I discuss television on slidespin.tv as well. Um, we'd, that's, I'll just forget about the time zoning or whatever, or the time um, lapse of this part. But yes, definitely check out slidespin.tv for more of yeah. us together. We're a dynamic duo of craziness, I don't know, or or to be arrogant, <laughs> awesomeness, so, yes. I don't think that's arrogant. Oh, God, Pretty it's, accurate. It's, it's accurate as hell. All right, okay. Anyway, let's finish this off. Once again, thank you for commentating with me. Thank you, everyone, to watch it, what, who watched this LP. It was uh, a great, great crack to quote, quote the Irish Go play language. it yourself. Go play it yourself. It's only like 34 megabytes, so, yes. Take care, spike your hair.